Hey everyone, this is Mark at Short Action Customs. Just want to show you in detail our new bullet seating die. I'm really excited about it because this one die can uh, seat bullets in a very straight and concentric fashion in a variety of different cartridges. For example, it has no issue seating bullets in the 6BR Ackley Improved, the 6GT, the, the 647 Lapua. 6XC or the 243 Winchester, 6 Creedmoor, basically every 6 millimeter short action cartridge will work really well with this die. And uh, I'll go into detail a little bit later why we do it, but or how we do it. But one thing we started noticing, and anybody that chambers rifles, you know, and measures diameters of chambers, know that on the reamer print, this base diameter right above the extractor groove, right about 200 thousandths uh, north of the uh, bolt face is typically 0.4714 to 0.4724-ish. So we went ahead and thought, okay, well, what if we had a die that didn't have a dedicated chamber in the inside, but it had an extremely straight and concentric hole going through the center that was held to a diameter just a little bit over 473,000. So there's about a, a thousandths and a half of clearance total around a cartridge. And uh, we started measuring other companies' dies, especially ones that have like a sliding chamber sleeve that goes up the center. And the diameter of their uh, chamber was, you know, 475, 476 thousandths right at the base. So it really wasn't holding the cartridge very securely. There's a lot of room for it to float around. So we thought, well, you're having to make all these parts and then it's, is it really even holding it more concentric or better? So we went ahead and made some prototypes. We've been extremely impressed with the, uh, the results that we have as far as um, you know, the run out of the bullet and all that, which um, from all the testing we've done, we've pretty much found that if you have any run out in your neck, it's always from the uh, sizing operation. It's not from seating a bullet. So for example, if you have a, a piece of brass that doesn't have any neck run out, and then you seat a bullet, it's really difficult to uh, add or subtract any neck, neck run out from seating a bullet. It's gonna just follow the path of uh, least resistance, which is just the neck expanding and the bullet going in exactly where the neck's at. So I think it's a myth that uh, bullet seating dies can reduce neck run out or bullet run out as, as long as there's nothing you know grossly wrong so so what we did is we went ahead and designed a die that has a through hole that goes through the center that's about 473 thousandths and uh, and what we do is we actually um, do an internal burnishing process which leaves a super nice finish on the inside but it also uh, holds the diameter uh, to a couple tenths from one end to the other. So we've got an extremely straight and smooth hole going through the center of the die. And that hole is done at the exact same time that these threads and the face of the die is done. So the detail that properly guides the bullet and the cartridge and everything is all done in the same exact operation. So, so the way it works is we've got this hole right here. It's about 473, uh, five and it holds the base of the cartridge very concentric to the center of the die. So it doesn't matter which cartridge you're using, they all have a very similar base and it's gonna hold it very well. Plus, you're gonna want a little bit of room for it to float anyway. On the inside of the die, we have two items. We have this, uh, this part right here, which its whole purpose, it has a nice radius, is to slide up and down the center of the die. It's spring-loaded. And that radius properly centers up and uh, locates on the shoulder. So this is a 40 degree shoulder. Here's a 35 degree shoulder. Here's a 30 degree shoulder. Here's a 20 degree shoulder. It doesn't matter the shoulder angle. This radius is going to contact the cartridge. And since the outside and the inside are you know, done in the same op, uh, this is being guided through the center of the, of the die. So it's... Um, extremely concentric, and it's gonna be uh, properly locating and securing the top of the cartridge. So the base is being held by the inside of the die, and then the top is being held right here. Well, this top piece, which we call the case shoulder part, um, has a super nice, clean, straight hole going through it, 
and we've got our uh, bullet seating stem, which is guided up and down. And there's only about a thousandths clearance between here. So it's a super nice tight fit. If there wasn't a through hole, there'd be a little vacuum and it wouldn't just fall down. But um, that's what actually guides your bullet down into the cartridge. So your cartridge is being held like this, your bullet's right there, and then this slides up and down seating your bullet in your case and we've measured dozens and dozens of loaded ammo that we've made with it and it's been you know extremely good straight uh, ammo with you know minimal run out again if you have any run out from the sizing process it's going to translate over to your bullet seating process we've actually done some testing where we tried uh, measuring the neck run out and the bullet run out of sized brass versus sized and then expanded and actually the expanded brass had a worse neck run out with a more bullet run out than just sized brass with no expander. So, um, you know, it's a pretty cut and dry die. It's very concentric, it's very well made. Um, we're again using a Midu Toyu micrometer head. There's a half an inch of travel. And um, we went ahead and machined a special detail. There's no set screws and it's completely toolless but we've increased the amount of tension that this head has. So you've got a super good positive feel to it. As soon as you're done turning, it stops. Um, it's almost like uh, it's got a brake built into it, but uh, to increase drag. But the thing is you're not gonna accidentally bump it and rotate it. So you purposely have to be grabbing it and turning it in order to get it to move. Just like other dies, there's a little one and a half millimeter Allen wrench that if you loosen this up, you can spin this scale around. So if your die is located just like this, you can spin this scale around to kind of zero, just like what you would with a turret on a rifle scope. So um, the way that the inside is, the only difference between a 6BR um, setup and a 6BR, I'm sorry, a 6 Creedmoor, is we basically have this little ball bearing that rides up and down. And what that does is that acts just as a spacer to uh, to be able to seat bullets in the smaller cases and then if you're shooting basically a, a 647 to 6 Creedmoor you would take it out and uh, you wouldn't even need it because um, the cartridge is going to be higher and it's going to push this assembly up higher and this is basically how it goes in there then the micrometer head touches on the top of there so um, it's a super easy simple setup and uh, the material that we use, it's a 17-4 stainless. It just machines so nice. You can see the surface finish. I mean, this is right off the machine. It's uh, very, very smooth. We're using great tools. We have great surface finishes. Probably one of the best things about this die, besides it's modular in the sense that it can do different cartridges, is I spent a lot of time perfecting the, uh, the bullet seating stem. So this is a six millimeter um, Hornady, 110 a tip i mean where we're contacting the bullet is much farther down on the bullet nose than it is on other uh, other dies that we've used that'll touch it and you can see that there's actually about a good hundred thousands patch where it's uh, touching so when we seat bullets there's virtually no marks on the bullets and it's pro and the more contact you have with the bullet the more uh, straight the bullet's going to be held by the whole system so that again is a contributing factor to uh, to getting bullets seated straight into cases. Um, here's a 105 Burger Hybrid. Same thing. We've got just a great uh, contact patch with it. And again, we haven't had one bullet that has ever been dented or left a mark on it from seating. So we've had a lot of issues with other manufacturers' uh, bullet seating dies where the the bullet seating stem works well for one. Uh, brand of bullet but not for another and I think we've uh, we've solved that for sure with this die so um, it's a great setup I think we've uh, hit another home run with this and as a shooter and reloader I'm tired of also buying multiple dies as well just to seat bullets so I think uh, everybody's gonna really enjoy this die um, this one is Cerakoted but uh, our production ones are gonna be uh, probably black nitrided so, and that'll just kind of help with corrosion and just keep everything nice, hard, and smooth. So, we're really excited about this die. Sorry for the long video, but there's just a lot of good information that uh, we wanted to get out there. So, um, we'll have these available for sale right away.